Hello everybody. Hi, this is Amanda from Creative Pouring. Um, I haven't poured in a couple of weeks, mainly because I've got a new um, golden retriever puppy who takes up a lot of time, as you can imagine, and the only time I can do anything is when he's in his crate. Otherwise he's eating something or weeing somewhere or <laughs> playing with the dog. Anyway, he's delightful, but he's in his crate now so I can do a quick pour. Um, I decided to do basically take an idea from the lovely Sarah Mack. She's been doing a lot of galaxy pours. Um, so I'm going to try and do something similar, although I don't have any deco art satin enamel. So we're just going to see what comes. So it might be like a ring pour, but not. Um, I'm not going to wiggle it. I'm just going to pour it but with similar colours that um, Sarah's been using in her Galaxy Paws. So, I'm using the British version of Flood Flow Troll, which is this Oil Troll, Flow Troll, and it's a lot thicker, I think, than the normal. Uh, it comes out really thick when you pour it out, so I do have to water this down. This time I've put it into, I've just put it into a Liquitex bottle. And I've added a little bit of Liquitex in as well as a bit of water. Like so, I filled up to there with Flow Troll, did a bit of Liquitex, and then and then I've had to um, put water in the paints as well to get it to some sort of thickness that I think is um, correct for this type of pour. Okay, so this is a forty centimeter by forty centimeter square canvas and I've done quite a, a big tub of white tub. Um, this is um, my Jackson Art, most of these are Jackson Art paints, Jackson Art titanium white and these are really thick uh, what you would call heavy body paints so in here it, I've done it sort of four to one flow troll and there is um, about 14, 400 millilitres or 14, about 14 ounces of paint. And let me just see if I can show you the thickness. So it pours quite nicely, but it's quite thick. And then when you go like that, it does leave a trace, but it sinks fairly quickly. But it's, it will stand the stick up in it. And that's what I'm going on for Sarah's description of when she says about her consistency because I can't because I don't know what her flow troll thickness is I have to gauge it to what I think it should be uh, and also I use different paints so okay so this is a um it's quite dark in here so let me see if I can get a bit more light I've had to come and I normally try and do it in the daylight but so this is a Prussian blue um, that was made of um, Jackson Art Prussian Blue with a bit of black in it. And then this is a metallic um, sapphire blue. Again, it's quite thick, but runs off the stick. Um, and this is Deco Art Sapphire Extreme Sheen. Plus, I, I put a bit of a blue in there, which was a... Which one was it? A bit of Amsterdam manganese blue in there as well, just to like, extend it really because I didn't want to use all the metallic sapphire and then flow troll. And then this violet is Jackson Art Dioxazine. Violet, which is this one here, um, and again it's quite thick, but does run off the off the stick. And then um, a good old cup of the famous twenty four carat extreme sheen. That's that one, and then this one is um I don't know, I'm gonna see it up there. Um 
This is Picot Extreme Sheen Pink Tourmaline. And then I mix that with a bit of um, Amsterdam Red and a bit of Amsterdam hmm, Caput Mortem Violet, whatever that is, but it's quite a nice, a darker pink to make this colour here. There. Well, that's better there, isn't it? What can you see? Anyway, and then I did a sort of dark turquoise, which is uh, again a Jackson Art turquoise. This one. And I did some Payne's grey and a bit of blue just to sort of try and get it to that colour. Right, so um, I'm just going to use. I've tried to work out how much paint Sarah uses on her 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre canvases. So I did a bit of maths and I think if I fill this cup up, which is a 10 ounce, so I think if I fill up to 12 ounces for this size canvas, we will be good to go. I might not make it up twice, quite to 12, 10 ounces, because she uses an 18 ounce out cup, an 18 ounce cup for 2020 so I'm thinking this is 16 by 16 so yeah 11 12 ounces we should be good to go right I'm gonna pour a bit of this white in first at the bottom there's no silicon in these it's just the old the old flare charm all right let's just stick a bit of this in the bottom like that. and then we're going to just pour it down the side. This is the Prussian blue. And I'm going to put a bit of sapphire. And then a bit of galaxine, I can never say it, purple. See, I'm in love with these colours already. And then the old gold and then I might put a bit of white and then some of this teal and then a bit of this pink And then a bit of gold. I'm just going to mix it up really. And then a bit of purple. Sapphire. And a bit of the white. And then. Push and blue, a bit more gold because it's my favourite, and then let's do some of this purple next to that gold. Oh, nearly dropped it, and then I think some of that pink next to that purple, and then some of this. It's a lot of paint. <laughs> Good God. Well, I'm going with it. Going with the flow. Quite a lot of white at the bottom. Yeah, I think that looks a lot of white at the bottom. Oh well, too late now. I might have to. Right, let's just put a little bit more of this, a little bit more of the pink and a little bit more of the purple and I think we're good to go. Oh, let me see if another pour. I'm lucky if I don't use it all. I think that's enough paint. Let's just put a 
bit, I'm not going to put any more white in. Let's put a bit more of this in. Okay. Right. So now have a look at my cup. I think there's too much white in the bottom look. What do you reckon? It looks pretty cut though. So if I think there's too much white in the middle, I might stop. But you never know. As I'm not really used to doing these type of pours, we will see. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. And we're going to do a puddle in the middle. Okay, a puddle in the middle. That's it. And we're just going to roll that round a little bit. Just to spread it out a baby bit. There's plenty white. Okay. And I'm just going to do a little bit more in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to pour in there, straight down, no wiggling, just off we go. So, are you ready for this? Can you see? Shame on in the light. Maybe if I do it this way you can see, because the lights are behind me. Right, here we go. Stop yakking, Amanda, and just do it. Are you ready? Okay, let's pour. Quite high. Slowly, 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 slowly. Just a bit poor, don't move. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, let's do it. Don't move. Down a bit further. There's all that white look. I shouldn't have put that pink next to that white. Lordy, lordy. Okay. I don't like it, Mum's no Carry on. Just keep going, Mum. This is what it's all about. Just do it. Pour it. Here's the blue. Okay. Down a bit. And here's that white at the bottom. So depending on how much white comes out, Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's looking all right, it's looking all right. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Well, you have a steady hand for this, haven't you? I'm really pleased with the consistency. It looks about right to me, anyway. Wiggle up and down now because it's getting a bit. Don't do it, I'm getting everything out of this cup as much as I can get it. I get a bit dizzy doing this actually. <laughs> Let's just see if I stop more and how much it looks like I've made. Still, still coming out. I don't want to stop it. See, it's got some red in it. It's got some blue in it. It's got some gold in it. So 
Na wollen den? Just get that in the middle. Well, it's looking beautiful already, to be honest. Right, let's pop a few for balls. And let's see, I'm just going to roll it around a bit first, and then I'm going to stick some white on the corner, on these corners. So let's just see, look at that, shimmery. I know I'm not going to get the same effect as um, Sarah because I don't have the satin enamel. But let's just see what we can do. And then whether we need to think about getting some satin enamel or whether we can get some decent effects without it. Just going to roll around a little bit. Okay. Loving the gold, loving the shimmer. Let's put some white around just to help it flow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that'd be tipped off anyway. Right. I'm going to scrape this cup out as well. We don't want to waste any paint in there, do we? Right, it looks the prettiest cup in the whole wide world. We can use that as to help us get off the edge. Just really to help it flow off the edge so it doesn't really matter what colour it is. She says hopefully. Okay. Right. Okie dokie. Now so I'm just gonna roll it to the edges a little bit and then we'll have a look. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it down to this side first. A little bit, not over the edge yet. Bring it back to the middle. And just stick it down to this side. A little bit first, and then bring it back to the middle. Seem to want to stretch. There's a lot of gold in there. I think maybe I should. Not put as much gold in. Anyway, we'll see. Go down to this end here. It's definitely not dark like the galaxy pores. So I put it in the middle. Let's see what we like, what we don't like down for a second I 
think with all this the deco art it's going to create some sort of movement considering I haven't got any of the satin enamel in it I'm doing all right I think right I'm going to go to this corner here and she can stick it up the end right let's just get it down that way down that way down that way let's just go off the end oh, a bit more that's it bring it back to the middle Okay, I'm going to come straight back down this, the side. Oh, I don't like doing it. I like doing it this way. Turn it round. Okay, now I'm going to go to that side there. It looks very pretty. Perfect. That one there. Bring it back. Go to the middle. It's a shame, I don't want to lose too much of that, but I'm going to have to, aren't I, just to tip it off. Okay, let's go in that way. Slowly, slowly, and then just tip the baby bit off. We don't want too much off this corner because I really like that colour. Baby bit, and then, oh, oh, there you go. Bring it back to the middle. Wow, look at me. I'm really chuffed with this. Right, let's just go to that last one at the bottom there. And then we'll have a look and see if we need to tip any more off. Maybe if it, oh, God. Don't drop it about that. Oh, I'm alive. Sorry, can't see. I can try and get it this back into the middle a little bit, and then I'll decide whether I want it off centre or not. Oh, look at that! Oh, I'll tell you what, Sarah Mac knows what she's doing, doesn't she? Hey, look at those colours! Oh, it's so gorgeous! I don't want to touch it, I just want to leave it as it is. It's so pretty. Oh, let me move out the way so you can see in the light. I'm dribbling my hands everywhere. That is just gorgeous. Oh, let me just have another look. I don't want to lose this because I love that. Can you see? Uh, yeah. So that where it looks really dark is gold on the corner. And then there's that sapphire blue, and then there's the... Oh, don't drip on it, Amanda. Good God, woman. You dripped in it. You dopey, bloody idiot. Excuse my language. Look at that. I was just saying how beautiful it is, and I've dripped in it. Man alive. Oh, I'm so cross. Oh, <laughs> you idiot. Oh, well. It will just have to... Oh, I might have to tip that off now. Oh. Right. Here's me yakking away, saying how gorgeous it is. Hands dripping everywhere. Schoolboy era. What's happening? Paint all over the floor. Paint all over me. I was so, getting so excited. Look. Oh well, I'm just going to leave it. Man alive! Anyway. Besides the fact I've just dripped a load of paint in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with that. I'm just so cross with that. Look at that dipping that in there. What an idiot. Shall I show you what I've done? Bear with me. I'm going to bring you down. But I'm so, so happy with that. It's absolutely... The colours are gorgeous. There's no satin enamel in this. I'm just popping some of the bubbles now. But the it's just beautiful. I'm so happy with it and I'm so cross I've just done that. So let me um bring you down and I'll show you. I won't take the gloves off. Hang on, bear with me. I don't 
think I need to tip any more off. I've tipped up quite a lot off. Um, but I don't think I do. Right. Here's me, cross. Arr. Right. I have to do this upside down because I don't want to flip it back. So I don't know if you can see. Where is it? Oh, there's my camera thing. Uh, there you go. So look what I've done. I've dropped these two bits, look. There and there in the corner. What an absolute idiot. Oh well. I might try and tip them off. I'll see. But anyway. It is just gorgeous, like gold bit in the corner there. Move to the top. It's really hard with this camera when I'm doing it upside down. There's that corner there. I've got some little white spots coming through there. I think that's the white paint coming from underneath. And you can really see the pinky red stuff. And then that's all gone bronzy, this corner here. It's absolutely lovely. Okay, well, I'll take some pictures and another video of it. What's this? I've decided what I'm going to do with this corner. I might have to stare at it and see if I can. I might have to just tip that off. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I think I'm really loving this. I'm so happy I've done one today. It's looking beautiful. I have to get it the right way around. There you go. I'll do some photos and put it up for you. Okay, that's Amanda. Over and out.